Hello, it's a new month, it's the 1st of July 2022 and it's time for another system for Game of Day. So this is Neo Geo Game of Day. Do you remember that Neo Geo system that was out in the early 90s that was very expensive and blew the state of the art at the time? And this is emulating that. Can't afford one so I've got it emulated. But yeah, this emulator called Nebula does a good job of that. So I bet a few issues with yesterday's uh, Game of Day. The screen was over to the right, I noticed, after doing the uh, video and stuff, and I did call the Atari ST that Spectrum, so I do apologise about that. Okay, so yeah, this is Metal Gear... S no, Metal Slug, Super Vehicle, not not one. This is a two-player simultaneous co-op game, but I'm, I haven't got no one to play with at the moment, so we're going to go for Metal Slug, and we're going to start the game. So this is out in the arcades, and it's been, uh, like, sort of emulated on various consoles, including the Nintendo Switch, amongst others. So let's start the game. Okay, so we've got start on options, so let's have a look. So I'm going to go for easy because I'm shit at games. So you can have up to five, that's quite a cool effect in the background, isn't it? So I have up to five heroes, so that's sort of like your lives. So let's start the game. Okay, so I seem to have the Japanese version of the game here. Um, so it's just telling us how to play there, so... On to mission one here, so let's start the game. Okay, so I think this is a censored version. Didn't the other version have blood? It's not red on this version. Anyway, so this is Metal Slug, and as you can see, the gra graphics. If you if you think about the early nineties and having this in your home, you would have been very um, impressed. Uh, listen to the music and look at the graphical style on it. So what you got to do is you got to rescue these uh, sort of guys here. Oh, you fuck! Music's awesome, it's like an orchestral sounding tune. Thank you. Right. Thank you. So I can rescue them by using your dagger. Right, okay, so let's keep going. So the graphics good, this is quite fun on two players to be honest. So you can see like we're on like some sort of beach. Okay, so let's shoot these uh, helicopter here. So Metal Slug was all, always known about having a lot of frantic and fast action going on at the same time with not much slowdown. It was based on the Neo Geo hardware of the arcade machine. Probably had a very similar motherboard than the arcade machine just cut down maybe for the home market. I'm not sure the history of the console to be honest. They're very expensive nowadays if you want to buy one. Uh, probably looking at about 500 quid plus maybe even more than that. And the cartridges themselves that go into the um, Neo Geo system are expensive as well. So throughout the game you can get into various vehicles as well, very innovative for the early 90s. Um, okay, so you see there's so much going on. A little bit slow down going on, but I don't know if that's the emulator. It could have been present in the actual game, because we are talking early 90s, like I said. But I really did, did it. That's, that's out of that now because it's damaged. You see loads of spectacular explosions and good graphics. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, it's good with two players. Whoa! We should work together on the same screen at the same time. Cooperative mode. We've got some parallax scrolling in the background there. It looks apart. You see the waterfalls and stuff. Really adding to the depth of the uh, visual game player aspect. Okay, so let's shoot these baddies up here. Rescue the hostages. Whoa. Okay, I'm trying to rescue that hostage there, but he's getting, his bullets are getting in my way. So let's try and get up there. So the, the art works really well drawn. Just, just really you know, thought, a lot of thought and attention to detail has been put in this game. They add many sequels after this one. Right, let's try and shoot this uh, boss here. So every time we shoot this bit, it flashes the whole boss, so that means we're getting some damage inflicted. Um, well, he's firing, firing a much powerful weapon there. Let's keep shooting. Now, one thing on the emulator I've noticed you can't hold down the fire button, you have to tap and repeatedly tap it. There might be options in the emulator. Not sure what that would have been like on the original system. 
Okay, so I completed level one there. So how many did we rescue? None. Oh, okay. Does that mean we rescued none or just none? No prisoners, not sure. Not sure if that bit's supposed to go slower. We're on to level two now. So we've got a different visual style to the graphics on level two, like a sort of more indoor setting here. Different music as well, so it's lovely to see all the variety. You can tell when a game's been programmed well. And this is one such example. Watch out for these electrical fields here. Comparable, I think. You can probably duck under them as well. Whoa, he's parachuting in. Have some of that. It is quite, uh, obviously, yeah, it is quite frantic and a lot going on all at, all at the same time on this game. Kill these baddies here. Watch out, so often got like, shields and stuff. Have some of that. So you got some sprite rotation going on. And that continues, of course. We've got front and back parallax squadron. What a really good game. So yeah, that's uh, Metal Slug on the Neo Joe, and I think that's a great start to uh, July's game of day. Um, if you've got any suggestions for any games to look on the Neo Geo, let me know in the comments and I'll try and facilitate that. And uh, yep, so I'm going to give this one 9 out of 10. Absolutely superb game and superb in every detail, the graphics, music, everything. Viability is excellent also. So I'd like to thank you for watching, have a good Friday evening and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Thank you for watching. Bye!